Lord divide Find favor in your sight Lord please Hear my heart cry This is where I'm This is where I'm I'm not joking like, I'm not joking Welcome to another episode of Church Boys The Church Boys I don't know if you don't know what Church Boys is about Church Boys is a show where I interview people who play instruments and sing in the church And today I have a very wonderful guest here as you can see Charlie, this boy there, don't go there. He can sing. Wow. <laughs> so today I have here. I, I, I'm just going to let him introduce himself, and we are going to start the interview right from there. So, man of God, please, can you introduce yourself to our people over here? Okay. Um, my name is Kweku Jeo Bafo, uh, but you may call me Bafo. Some, some old voice, no? some old voice, no? Also, who say? Some old voice, also say the singing voice will be better than this. Oh my God. Uh, what do you do? Um, I'm a singer. All right, basically. Yeah. Oh, T-Boy is not a singer, nah. <laughs> All right, so um, which church do you um, fellowship at? Uh, yeah. Okay, I fellowship at um, Living Stones Worldwide. Uh, where is it? Um, it's at Top High. Top Box. High. Yeah. All right, all right. So I think I should tell you my story. How I, the first day I saw or I met Balfour, where was it? Cry. I think off campus, live and yeah. the guy was leading with so I was like, hey, Randy Bell, who? The guy would give me some riffs. Hey, I was shocked. There, no, I, I went to the girls. Like, we have to record the video. We have to record the video. Hey, Charlie. So, yeah, let's start. When did you start singing? I mean, your age specifically. When did you start singing? Okay, um, probably nursery, Baba, Black Sheep, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, so I, I normally want to know was it a parental influence? Baffo, go and sing. Baffo, go and sing. Or you know, you were there now, you saw that you could sing and you decided to sing. Okay, um, at the time I started singing, there wasn't really a parental influence or anything, but I guess that the family influence came okay. much later. Oh, okay. In my family, all of us can sing. Okay. Except my little sister. Ah! Sorry, sorry, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. But she, she okay. can dance, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Balance. So, yeah, all of us can sing. So, it's like when I was really young, I remember like on occasions maybe su sunday or saturday mornings we just get up and we'll be singing, singing and we'll song. break into different parts hey go there yeah. okay like all right my dad will be singing bass my dad hey it's a father pastor no oh, okay, my okay. dad is my pastor oh okay okay most of the people like you they are ah. me and father is a pastor all right all right all right so do you remember the first song you ever sang in public like in church in oh. church okay um i think it was like a school worship okay then mm. yeah so um like my kid sister, her, uh, her class one teacher had then taught them like a Christmas carol or okay, something. Okay. And they were going to sing it. Mm -hmm. And she was always sing it, singing in it in the your house. Church, in your in house. the house. Yeah. So it was like boring. It mm -hmm. bored me. So <laughs> like, I decided to learn the song. Okay. Then before they, you see, it was a school trip. So it's like, since it's a madam who is mm -hmm. leading, mm -hmm. they made it like the climax event or okay. something. So I just told them that, oh, I'm going to sing a song. Uh -huh. So I went there. To and sing I the sing song right now. <laughs> I went oh, <laughs> are you spoiling the song? I spoiled the song. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, can you, can, do you remember the song? Can you sing? Yeah, it was like okay. the herald angels singing glory uh, to And I was saying them, no. Ah, and how <laughs> didn't that discourage you from? I think then I don't think they singing things for me. Well, after what the madam told me, so yeah. after what, like. After she built me, I was yeah. like, maybe I yeah. should stop with some But yeah. I, I didn't because okay. in the house we we'll always be singing, um, and, in, and and I also joined, uh, joined like the choir at church. Yeah, oh, okay. So. okay, okay. So will you consider yourself as a choral singer or a contemporary singer? Okay, um, up, like for my whole life mm -hmm. up until like SHS two, mm -hmm. I was a choral singer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was okay. just a choral singer, singing soprano, uh, and and stuff. Like that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> soprano, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay, sure. Okay. But like from SHS to switched. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I went to us. I joined a group called Revival Singers. Okay. Yeah. And then the guy was like, "No, I'm not a choral singer because I, I, you are not. It's like <laughs> you are not. It's like." When when they are leading worship, like before mass at at us, um, they hear one guy in the choir singing some so high, high tenor, tenor or oh, high, 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 high
Hey, is what I did here. So the guy pressured me uh, to like, I eventually left the choir and mm. I joined Revival Singers. Okay, yeah, okay. So right. I'm a contemporary singer, singer now. now. Okay, so in the contemporary market or in the contemporary community, who are your... Uh, who are the people you look up to? Who are the people that you can say that oh, I'm learning from this person, this person? Like, can you give me three people you are learning from? Two people. Three people. Three like, people. They okay. can be Ghanaian, they can be foreign. Yeah. Next. So um, I would say Chandler Moore for sure. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you have similar. The voice, your, your voice is quite yeah. similar to. And me. it's whole like worship vibe. How okay. it makes worship out of everything. Okay. It's, it's something I'm really trying mm, to learn okay. from. Okay. Okay. And then um, Joe Metal oh, okay. for sure. Yeah. And then um. I guess Jonathan McReynolds, okay. like, because of his whole vibe, the vocal thing, yeah, yeah okay. the the falsetto thing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, First, um, Patrick, yeah, it's a falsetto, I feel. Uh, they are there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are there. Like, when you don't use your head or your chest voice, but you sing like. Ah, uh, so there's head face. voice and there. Oh, hey, yeah. I'll come for tutorials, please. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I have a game for you, eh? Right? There's for this sure. game I want us to play, Song Gatu Sisi. Sure. I'm going to give you three words, just three words. Three words. And then, when I, when I mention the word, you're supposed to sing a song that has that the word, word in the lyrics or in the song. Yeah. So, your first word I have for you is. Help. Help. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Help. Why did I blank? There are lots of songs. <laughs> okay, there's just one song in my mind, though. Eh. Yes. I'm just blind okay, right now. Oh my god. Uh, I will lift up my eyes to the hill. Oh, well, my, my help. <laughs> okay, so your second word is. Mm. The second word is Lord. Lord. Okay. Lord divine, find favor in your sight. Lord, please hear my heart cry. Uh, right there, so we move. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is where I go. This is where I go. Hey, I, I'm not joking. Like, I'm not pressure. joking. Pressure this, this is not pressure. This is what I see. Oh, Ras, no, yeah. Okay, so before I will go to the last word, I want mm. to ask you a question. From all the times I've seen you leading worship, yeah. I see that. I have a problem with Ghanaian worship, I think. That they see worship as just arranging songs. Yeah. They think me too new year and I'm the out to us. But yeah. one thing I've said about you is that when you lead worship in meetings, you don't make it look like it's just an arrangement of songs. You just create an experience around this whole in in the room. I mean, most of the times I'm late. When I get to the room, I'm like, ah, what is happening here? Hey, you you really make it look like an experience, like an experience. How, how do you do that and how is that possible for you? Okay. In your own words. So I remember the first time I was called to lead a worship. That okay. was, you know, us. Okay. Yeah. I had been elected as uh, a pre executive, oh, right? Okay. Like what, one of the one of the leaders of the Protestant community. Okay, okay. And I had to lead a worship. So I remember I was scared. I hadn't done it before, so I was trying to write up songs. Mm -hmm. So I made a list like okay. how most people do. And then I was like, okay, this song should come before this yeah, one because it will move people, move people or something. Hey, like, yeah, yeah, talk about like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I realized, I was like, if I'm going to lead, like, it's worship. Mm -hmm. It's like whenever I'm singing, not like whenever I'm singing, most times when I'm mm -hmm. when I'm working, mm -hmm. I'm singing. Okay. And when I'm working and singing like that, I don't need to rearrange songs like beforehand. Okay, okay. So okay. I I would want to sort of replicate that experience oh, okay. to my worship. So oh, okay. when it's worship, I just try to focus on God. I make it as though God is just standing right there and I'm oh, singing that's to powerful. him. Mm. Right. Because I have this small thing problem I have with Ghana. It's just a Ghanaian, hey, every day Ghana worshippers. But then we are talking about this and you know, uh, this idea came to mind that yeah. I call something uh, ministrational blackmail. <laughs> Ruffo. Where is my own I don't know whether Your it's own grammatical oh, correct. It's my it's my own word. It is copyright. Ministrational blackmail. What I mean is that what I mean by that is that when some people are ministering, there, you see yeah. there are some songs that we don't really have there hype like that and there are some songs that really have the hype yeah. a song like you are your way the song yeah. so i think that some ministers really blackmail their audience that's what i feel in in a way that i'm not saying you should sing that song but when they are called on the stage because they don't work before they come or you know ministry in the flop here and he realizes that it's flopping hey go and yeah. bring them songs yeah. no but to you are your way because he knows that the song the has all its own experience. experience and it's a cracky to cry to cry whether you like yeah. the song so I don't really like that. And what do you have to say about this whole, this this idea I'm putting in before you? Okay, um, I feel like songs are revelation, right? Okay. And how you also minister songs as opposed to re revelation. You can't okay. just, you see, the person who sang that song had an experience yeah. with God okay. in order to bring the song out. So if you want to um, replicate that experience, okay. you have to sort of 
have that relationship oh, with that's God. That's powerful. Do you mm. get it? Mm. You mm. can't mm. just bring in any song or any chant like yeah, the chant ch- thing to is, is oh doing God. there. Like oh God, yeah, chant, you are in my mind. <laughs> people think that uh, they will sing one or two worship songs. Do you do you think people are replacing worship moments with chants? Yes, it's a thing I have noticed and. I don't know. I, I sort of sympathize with them because for some people they can't really. <laughs> yeah. Your last word for the song as you think is. Um, but Lord was too easy. Lord was too easy. <laughs> hey, okay, okay. Lord was too easy. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me give you this. Yes. I say yes. Oh yes. I know the the rest of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is disqualified. This oh, is ah, I ah, it. No, 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 the Lord bless you. Okay. And keep you. Mm-hmm. Make his face shine upon you. Mm. And be gracious mm. to you. The Lord turn mm. his face yes. toward you. Mm. And mm-hmm. give you peace. Voila. One question I have for you. Yeah. Because I know because of how you sing, you don't sing raw. You don't leave your voice to go raw. Eh? The Lord bless you. <laughs> and keep you try to take control of your voice and by doing yeah. so you try to do some runs runs some people think that if you're a singer and you do runs you are being too technical you are being too chin chin and some people believe that the holy ghost doesn't move when you do that do you agree with that the holy ghost doesn't move. okay i guess when you do that you you're a bit more conscious mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. just allowing god to move. yeah okay. but okay i don't I've not really studied myself, mm-hmm. but okay. in worship, mm-hmm. I feel like I don't, I don't really focus on the runs okay. in worship per se. Mm-hmm. If if I'm leading, worship, okay. if I'm just singing and I want okay. to enjoy myself, okay. yeah, I'll mm-hmm. do runs and stuff. But okay. in worship per se, I it's not it, it's not about the runs. That's okay. the thing. Okay. Right? okay, it's not about the runs. Like okay. if you do runs, it's as though you're trying to prove something to people okay. that you can sing or okay. you have technicality. So does that mean if I can do runs, I shouldn't do? Well, if you can do it and still keep in touch with the Holy Spirit okay. while you're doing it, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's fine. I think it's, 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 it's balanced. So I think yeah. some, some people are against the idea cry. Say, wow. If you go to some churches and they give you a mic and you come and do Hallelujah, they will suck you. <laughs> I mean, you put them off. Some people don't like that yeah, at all. I but know. in some churches too, me, I really think you should do that because it's a skill. The Bible says that yeah. David was playing skillfully. Yes, yeah, skillfully. And I think you can be skillful with your voice. Keep the balance. If you think exactly. you can sing, do the runs and rips and all those things, and still steady, and still your, steady your and then still keep that connection. The connection exactly. And it's then also the don't sometimes when you overdo that rips and runs, you distract people from yeah. God and bring that attention yeah. to you. Then yeah. people bring at you like, what are you doing? There's this idea or there's this notion that people have that church singers and instrumentalists like girls. Hey. And they're probably <laughs> doing whatever they're doing for girls. Oh my god. Do you agree? As in personally, like personally with your whole experience as a church boy, as a singer. Okay, with my whole experience, mm-hmm. I haven't. I don't know. Do you use that as an advantage? You don't use that. Do you use that as an advantage over girls? Agenda. It's like I don't want to sound too judgmental. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, oh, just feel free. Yeah. So okay, for me personally, I haven't. Mm-hmm. I have it because. I don't know. Yeah. It, it just seems so wrong okay. somehow. Okay, it's very wrong. Yeah. It's very, like but then again, sort of do you think because of what you do, girls like you because of what you do? Okay, I've not met a girl that said she liked me because okay. of what, because of your voice. How I sing. sing. Yeah. So. Okay. So how are you show? Oh yeah. Hey, you pana. <laughs> hey, Celia. Oh, definitely. Look at me, I'm I'm feeling your voice. Now, hey. you'll be And the girls now, your girl, your friends who are girls, they don't see your voice. They don't hear your voice. Probably. Probably. Hey, it's not our fault or entirely because some of the yeah. girls too, when they say that you can do something. Yeah, leave that for another video. All right. So, do you, are you active in your church when it comes to singing? Um, somehow, somehow. But recently, not so much mm. because of a lot of things I've had to juggle. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. I can't attend rehearsals as much as oh, okay. I want. Okay. But if I can, if there's the opportunity, mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, I yeah, try. I try. Yeah. Okay. 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 I 
I really like your voice and how you oh, lead you. songs and you, you worship and all that. So I want to ask you that. Aside your normal career, are you going to also pursue music ministry? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. okay. Not just music ministry, any other ministry. Mm-hmm. Um, God opens up for okay, me. Okay. Because you know what? I was a Bible studies coordinator. Okay, okay. So yeah, I still have like the teaching ministry. Okay, yeah. yeah. So definitely. And I feel like the it's not a side ministry, it is your job, which is a yeah. side job. Jo- okay, you powerful. get it because mm, like mm. it is all you are called to do. Yeah, yes, you get that's it. Very yeah. Powerful, so yeah. you can't just say this is what I do and yeah. then I do music ministry on side. the side. Yeah. It's yeah. not appropriate. But higher. Just higher or high. High or higher. Mm. Okay. Most I got in all the earth, in all the earth, we sing your praise. Have you heard it before? No, please. It's too diaspora. Diaspora, please. We sing By who? welcome. Is it JJ Hairston or um, uh, okay. some, yeah, something like that? Okay, so throughout your whole music uh, journey, uh-huh. uh, is there a song that you see that I really have a special thing for this song, this particular song or songs? Like, sorry, this song, then anytime I hear this song. That's something to me. That's, as, that's something to me. Like as a person. Okay, um, I have a prayer song, so I don't know if it counts. Like, oh yeah, it's a song. Yeah. yeah. So um, this this song, um, Alleluia, you're Alleluia, God, 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 God most die, Jesus. God. So it's like whenever I'm praying, I have to. I like to keep my earphones in my ears okay. as I'm praying. Yeah. As a minister or as a singer, I mean, I'm calling minister right now. Sure. As a <laughs> leader of songs, as a person, I know you really go into songs. So if I tell you right now to give me a playlist or suggest a playlist for my viewers like some five songs that i think that these songs are powerful and you want my voice go and check them out we'll be able to get a playlist for us right now right now <laughs> okay um can be just three or five songs it's going to be probably all maverick city oh god okay. so, i know my people like maverick city and i'm open i'm open okay so there's build your church okay maverick city yeah. um Refiner, definitely. Yeah, that song. Jubilee. Mm-hmm. Gyra. Okay. Um, but let me deviate from Maverick for a bit. Okay. Um, this song, I know the Bob. Okay, okay. Like, I actually heard it at, um, what was it? You see, exam, um, things like we do something. Uh, cry out. Cry out. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. And you heard from, oh, yeah. okay, oh. So, like, my reaction, cry. Yeah. Please, I'll link the, I'll post the link here, so go and check it out. For sure. It's a very nice. For sure. It's a very nice. I know they it's, it's crazy. Mm. Like, yeah. uh, okay, I know they're Okay, so that, that's that's first playlist. Please, you can go ahead and check it out. Maverick City Bebre and Agana Capre. Okay. So there's this new idea show I'm bringing on my channel. It's called I don't know whether you've seen the video. I've been quite versus diaspora. Hey, it's just that you see there are some all the songs you mentioned. They're all they're diaspora. diaspora. Oh, I've been quite songs maybe a day. Okay, just listen. Mm-hmm. Yes, no. yes, yes. I mean, those people in Kumasi. I don't say Kumasi. Oh, yeah. Because there's Kumasi something people. Ah, I get God. It, I get <laughs> oh, and that's something Smith people. Ah, that's something Smith people. Yeah, they're your friend. I'm okay. I'm okay. So it's a show that I'm going to be recommending. Because I, I feel like the link, the flow doesn't okay. There's some powerful songs in Abenkwai that, yeah. yeah. that don't flow to Dice Brother. And there's some powerful songs in Dice Brother that don't flow to. So I, I'm going to be the main man where I'm going to be recommending sure. Dice Brother songs to Abenkwai. Abenkwai songs to Dice yeah. So Charlie, thank you, for having, thank you for coming on this show, Charlie. Oh. God bless you so much. Thank you, you very really much. You. I'm Charlie, guys, this, we had Bafo Ewa. Please can I mention your full name again? Kweku Jeo Bafo Ewa. Kweku Jeo Bafo Ewa. And he can't sing. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you God very bless much, you so much.